Hello guys, if your Laravel log file has thousands of lines of code, how do you read it and how do you find something useful in the sea of log lines? In this video, I will show you eight tips to make Laravel log manageable. The first three tips will be about terminal commands and the fourth tip will be about how to run those commands more conveniently. So tail will just give you the last lines of any file, in this case Laravel log. But more often you need to have more lines on the screen because one exception may be 50 lines or 100 lines. So instead of just tail, you need to run dash n and then some number, number of lines you want to see. Then it shows you the last 100 lines and then you can scroll up and see what actually happened in the last exception like this. Tip number two is to use grep to find the exact errors in the log. If we run something like this, it will search for dot error and show actually only those lines that we mostly care about. So this is the command again and you can experiment with what to find for your specific project. Tip number three is the same tail but with dash f which will just leave it active, waiting for new exceptions. So for example, if we make some typo in the routes web and then load that page with an error, we go to terminal and we see that the new exception has come on the screen and we can again see what happened here. And tip number four is all those things are available in Laravel without tail on Laravel level. So you can run php artisan bail. And this is a package, official first party package Laravel Pail, created mostly by Nuno Maduro. And in the documentation of logging for Laravel, you can find a separate section about tailing log messages. Basically, it's a better, more convenient way to use tail in a more Laravel way with colors from the terminal. And in the docs, you may find more information about some settings and the flags. For example, you may filter the errors like this, level errors, so similar similar to what we've done with the terminal commands just a minute ago. And pale is running in the background, stays in the background. So now if we simulate that error again, we go to our terminal and we have this in a much more readable way than you would have in just the terminal with tail. And as I mentioned, Laravel pale comes by default with Laravel skeleton. It is here in the composer JSON. So you don't need to install it manually. You just run PHP artisan pale. Keep in mind it is in required dev. So if you run composer install on production server with no dev flag, then you may not have pale installed. But we'll talk about production environments in a minute. Tip number five is to split Laravel log into daily files to make them smaller and more manageable to read. So this is one file. In this case, I have storage logs and one Laravel log. But if in .env file, we change one parameter log channel from stack, which is default to daily, then look what happens. I simulate the same error in the browser by refreshing. And then here I have a new file Laravel with date log. So it will be a shorter, smaller file each day that would be more convenient to read just with your IDE. Also in the config logging file of Laravel in the daily section, there are a few parameters that you can change here or in .env, for example, log daily days by default is 14, which means here it is in the official docs, the number of days that daily log files should be retained, which means if I remember correctly that the older files will be automatically deleted. Tip number five is to install a package called log viewer, very popular package with almost 4000 stars, which looks like this. So all you need to do is run Composer require and PHP artisan publish. And then you have a page like this. Let me zoom in a bit. So all your log entries in a beautiful table, also including separate file, as you can see here now as I experimented with daily logging, and then you can click on each of them and see the details. Also, there's search, sorting and more filters. Pretty powerful and very useful. The final two tips will be about external tools that you may use on top of Laravel. And those are not free tools, but very useful. So for general logging of exceptions, Sentry is one of the most popular tools, but also other alternatives are like Bugsnag, which is now renamed to Inside Hub, then Flare by our own Spati from our Laravel community. And also Rollbar is pretty popular and pretty easy to install in Laravel and configure it. 
and those tools are doing pretty similar job. We are using Bugsnag historically in our team and let me show you what it does. Here I am in the dashboard of logs and exceptions for our real project filament examples, which is here if you are into filament you can browse around and I will link that in the description below. And here are the recent exceptions. Most of them are either already fixed or can be ignored because they are bots or AI crawlers, which is by the way becoming a bigger and bigger problem for us at Laravel Daily. Because for example, for search we use Algolia and bots are crawling the search, triggering the Algolia, which makes our invoice bigger. But that's a separate topic. Anyway, whatever exception happens in your application, it will be logged not only in your Laravel log, but in here in a much more structured and more convenient way to use. Of course, you may get notified after some bug by email, Slack, or whatever channel you prefer. And then when you need to fix something, you get here and you get the information, for example, how many times something appeared for how many users, including user IDs of your Laravel application if it's not a public user. And let me show you one bug what's inside. You can mark that as fixed or ignore. And this is pretty interesting. Example of a crawler. Let me zoom that in a bit. So something is wrong with product ID at the time of purchase. And let's see the request. So you can see the full request. What were the parameters for that user? And here you can see this. So someone is trying to hack into our system. This is a classical example of trying to apply SQL injection, which we may probably handle a bit more gracefully, but we are enforcing integer here in the product ID. So it stops with PHP type error. So it's not even Laravel, it's type error from PHP. So yeah, this is just one practical example, but basically in Bugsnag or Sentry or whatever is the tool, you see all the details about specific exception, which helps you to not spend time reproducing that locally. And it helps you to fix the bugs much faster. So we're paying currently $35 from what I remember per month for Bugsnag and it pays off massively. So this is all about exceptions and errors in PHP. And by the way, do you know the difference between PHP errors and Laravel exceptions? This is one of the topics we discuss in our separate course on Laravel Daily. So there's a course handling exceptions and errors recently updated to Laravel 12. And one of the lessons is about exceptions versus PHP errors. So if you're interested, I will link that course in the description below. And the final tip probably useful for bigger projects is to offload the logging to external tool altogether. So one of the most popular solutions for that is called Paper Trail, which is actually present in the Laravel docs. So if you go to logging documentation and see the list of channels, one of the channels is called Paper Trail specifically for this tool. It's not channel, it's actually drivers. And by the way, I advise you to read all the docs about logging. A lot of interesting details here about other drivers and various things you can configure. So Paper Trail is one of the examples, but also there are other external tools like Logly. I've Googled also LogDNA, which now is renamed to Mesmo. Personally, we haven't used it in our team because maybe our projects are not that big. So just read about those external tools if you have the need for that. So yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you about Laravel Log, which tip is new for you and which is your favorite. Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.